higher than what it can actually do in 2009. Uh, this isn't in great detail, but I've got SeaMonkey as a browser. So we've got a stable browser. The, the latest version of SeaMonkey doesn't actually support Windows 95. But Opera does, so it'll be worth switching to that later on. But for now, this seems to be working quite fine. I've got Microsoft Office 2000 installed for our office needs, which works quite well even today. There's PowerPoint. There's Excel. There's Access. I've got AMSN. This is to replace Windows Live Messenger. It's got the latest features, so should work quite well. I upgraded to IE 5.5 for the simple reason I wanted to run Windows Update. Uh, actually, Windows Update, oops, Windows Update still works. Obviously, they're not going to give any new updates. But you can still access the site and download the, the updates which have already been, so you can still keep it up to date as far as it's going to go. It's a lot different to the other operating systems. It's actually an update for Office there. These are all recommended things I didn't want to install, but they're there anyway in case I wanted them, so it still works. This is Windows 95B. Yeah, it works quite well. I prefer this old Explorer thing actually, the way it used to be. It's more simple, it's more to the point. But yeah, it's quite impressive, even what you can do with it today. It's still quite a good system. Just installing Windows Media Player 7 now, so we at least have a decent media player. We could probably install VLC as well, but I wanted to try this. Right, it wants me to restart. The system has rebooted now. <laughs> this used to come up quite often. We should be able to use Windows Media Player now. I'm not sure what that's about. There it is. Even the visualizations are working. Media Player 7. I wonder if the radio still works. It doesn't think I'm connected to the internet when I am. Oh, the skins. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If we close that. Oh well, it is old. But yeah, Windows 95 is still pretty usable. It's not really a gaming system though, not anymore. But you can still use it for quite a few programs. And it seems to work just fine, so... Yeah, it's been an interesting experiment to try this out again, and I'll see you in the next video.